Hi, I'm Mitch, and this is a free CAD tutorial on mirroring and symmetry. Assuming that your ultimate goal is to create a 3D solid model with symmetry about some axis or plane, it seems to me that you've got three options for creating that symmetry. The first option is you could create half the symmetric geometry in Sketcher and then mirror that in Sketcher to create the symmetric part and then extrude or revolve or add your third dimension. The second option would be to just manually create the full symmetric geometry in Sketcher and then add the third dimension. Uh, the third option would be that you, again you just create half the symmetric geometry and then add the third dimension either revolve or extrude and then add the symmetry in the part design workbench. And I've, or, I've listed those in the order that I intend to present them and also in ascending order of preference. So in other words, I think that it's preferable to create half of the symmetric geometry and then add your third dimension and add your symmetry in the part design workbench. And I'll explain why that is. But let's get into the first option, which is mirroring in Sketcher. You can see that I've already started with a fully def uh, constrained sketch, which is why we've got light green lines. And you can see that if I click on each of those lines now it becomes a dim green so I'm just going to go in order clockwise around my part ending on the line that I want to mirror about and now I'm going to go up uh, to my view toolbars and add my sketcher tools toolbar and that popped up over here I don't have a lot of space so it's got this uh, expansion tab here and here is my mirroring tool and you can see that that says that it creates symmetric geometry with respect to the last selected line or point so that's why I selected that uh, line that I want to mirror about last so let's just hit that and you can see that it makes a, a mirrored image but note that I no longer have a fully constrained sketch it mirrored all the straight line dimensions but not all of their constraints and none of the B-spline constraints. And so if I wanted to move this around now, I could. And note also that my B-spline does not have any of its control points on here. So if I control Z and go back uh, to the mirrored sketch, the other problem that this creates is that if I want to um, come back and change one of these dimensions, say uh, make this 50 millimeters, it updates this side, but it does not update this side. And you can see that this could really cause trouble if you recognize the possibility of design iterations later in the modeling process. So that's why I don't prefer this method. So let's look at uh, another method here. I'm actually going to open a totally new sketch to show you uh, what I prefer. If, if you feel you need to create the symmetry during the sketching process I would just do that manually so for example if I start to make that part manually here um, I know I want one long line like this but I'm gonna break that into sections about the place that I want to about the symmetric uh, line and I know I'm gonna want one of those up here and I've intentionally made those uh, different lengths so that I can show you that the way that I would do this is I would start by constraining these things to be equal to each other so if I choose this line and this line now I can make those equal and there's a hotkey for that as well so if I choose this line and this line and just hit E that makes those equal and now I can start to uh, put dimensions on this say that I think I wanted this to be 75 and it changes both so now anything that I do over here will automatically update over here so I use this side to put all my dimensions on and then these should update there's nothing uh, like that with the B spline essentially if you update this side of the B spline you're going to have to manually redo all of that over here and that's arduous and it's also open to human error and those two things are the reason that I don't prefer this method of um, mirroring uh, excuse me of creating symmetry but depending on what you're doing that may, it may be a uh, the, the right thing for your particular model but let's uh, move on to the third option which is to mirror in the solid model so I've got my sketch here I'm going to close that and I'm going to go uh, and create a solid pad from that I, I automatically went to the park 
design workbench here and let's uh let's make this maybe a hundred millimeters and now if I want to mirror in here the uh, icon that I'm looking for is this one right here create a mirrored feature and if I click that it will automatically choose one of my faces to mirror about but I can change that face I don't have to panic here because it chose one for me uh, over here in the tasks window you can see that my pad is the feature that's been chosen since I only have one feature that's automatically put there and you can see that it automatically chose to sketch about the vertical sketch axis but this is a drop down menu and you can see that I have lots of options here so maybe I could uh, change that to mirror about the horizontal axis note also that we have this uh, box here select reference and so if I select reference then I can come over here and highlight which one of these I want it faces that I want it to mirror about and then that it saves that in there and I can uh, leave that as an option or select a new reference like here and so let's leave it like that for now the last thing I want to check if I hit OK is that if I go back to my original sketch and I change something say I make this uh, 50 millimeters again and make that sort of a bulbous uh, thing and I close that and I go back to um, my mirror geometry you can see that it updated it and so and it updated it in both in both spots so those are the three options for creating symmetry in solid model parts in FreeCAD. I hope this was useful.